Praise be to the most precious and the only exalted name of our Heavenly Father and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. We greet each and every one of you that is gathered here in the first day of this week in the presence of the Almighty. With the abundant grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we have entered into yet another week in the precious life that God has so graciously given to each and every one of us. You know, our times are in His hands. When we look at the world of all the things that is happening for the last several months, there is a lot of uncertainty that is going on in this world. But it it is a great privilege and an honor and an opportunity to serve a very certain God in our lives. So it is very important for us to rely and trust in Him and we should never be shaken if we really trust in Him. Without Him, we can do nothing, the Bible says. It is very important that we totally depend on Him and trust in Him all the days of our life. It's very important that we abide only in Him. With these few words, I would like to draw your attention to the Word of God. I would request you all to kindly be on your feet if you can to honor the reading of God's Word. I would like to begin by reading two different portions of scriptures. The first one will be taken from the book of Joshua, chapter number 1 and verse number 9. And then let's go on to read a scripture from the epistle of Paul, the apostle, to the saints of the church at the city of Ephesus, chapter number 6 and verse number 10. Verse number 10. <coughs> Joshua 1 and 9, it says, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Namanaka Katla de Vilaya, Balakondi Tidamana Dagire, Tigayade, Kalanga de Nipo, Midamela, Mundevanaja Katha, Kuno de Irkara, and Ephesians chapter number six and verse number ten. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of his infallible word. Let us all bow our heads and close our eyes for a word. Most gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you Lord for the grand privilege that you had given us to break the living bread of your word. Thank you, Lord, for the 
ஒவ்வொருவரையும் <laughs> the propagation of your eternal word into each and every one of our hearts andavare umde nithyamana vaarthigale umde janangalde hridayathukku nerai pesapadumbodhu adavude ullathu naalathukkala kadathu selvudiyan anushabikkira pray that there will be a spirit of revelation and understanding in this place nedathile umde velipaattu naavi umde prithuvalil naavi ovarvarodu thangirkka venuma anushabikkira bind every power of darkness in the name of the lord jesus christ ella adhagarathin kirigale umde naamathinaale kadindu katti saluthu apparapaduthukire may the liberty of your spirit be with us we declare that all the glory honor and praise belong to you and you alone sagale tudi gana magame mele ella korvarke undavattam endru solli arikkedukire we ask all of this wonderful blessings in the precious name of the lord jesus christ ella aashirvaadangale mele yer petram namamaga yesu christ vinnamathinaale kekkiren amen please be seated dai se dorda For the last several weeks we have been talking on a series called the purpose of God in the life of a believer. கடந்த சில வாரங்களாக ஒரு விசுவாசியின் வாழ்க்கையிலே தேவனுடைய நோக்கம் தேவனுடைய சித்தம் எப்படி நிறைவேற்றப்படுகிறது என்ற காரியங்களை நாம் தியானித்து வருகிறோம். In that particularly for the last few weeks we are talking about the growth of a believer in accordance to the scriptures veda vasanangalin padiyai or viswasamya vaalkai kattarkulle eppadi valara venum engra kaaryathai nam janithu vandho it's one thing to be born again by the incorruptible seed of god's word devunde vaathiyagi alivillada vithinaale marubadi perappadu or kaaryam but it is another thing to grow in christ and reach the maturity the fullness of the stature of christ adutha karyam enavendal avarude vaarthinaale sanathinbadiyai valanderi avarude nirvana valachin alavukku thakka poornathuvathe adaivathu and in the last week we talked about how to be in constant connection with him and how our growth is constant and continuous in Christ. கிறிஸ்துவுக்குள் நாம் வளர்கிற இந்த வளர்ச்சி ஒரு நிலைத்ததாய் அது நீடித்து இருக்க வேண்டுமானால் எப்படிப்பட்டதான ஒரு நிலைத்த இனைப்பு அவரோடு கூட நமக்கு இருக்க வேண்டும் என்று சொல்லி கடந்த வாரத்திலே நாம் தியானித்தோம். Oh Lord Jesus said in the gospel of John chapter number 15. நம்ம ஆண்டவரா இயேசு கிறிஸ்து யோவான் எழுதிய சுவிசேஷம் 15வது அதிகாரத்திலே இதமாய் சொல்கிறார். He said if you abide in me and I in you நீங்கள் என்னிலும் நான் உங்களில் நிலைத்திருந்தால் you shall bear much fruits in your life. உங்கள் வாழ்க்கையில நீங்கள் மிகுந்த கனிகளை கொடுப்பீர்கள் என்றால் see this is very important that we as god's people abide in him. தேவனுடைய ஜனங்களாகிய நாம் அவருக்குள்ளே நிலைத்திருப்பது மிகவும் முக்கியமான ஒரு காரியம். He began the chapter by calling himself to be the vine and we ourselves to be the branches. that is connected to the divine yohan and the 15th of the adhikara they were aarambikkum bodhe avar solugira kaariya naan meyana thirachu chedi ningal kodigal endra avar solla no branch of any tree is externally attached to the vine endha oru marathinudeya kilaiyum and the nadu thandu pagudhiye kile marathai vittal thaniyaga thanithirukka mudiyadhu nobody brings a branch as a branch and attach it with the vine yaarume oru kilaiye kondu the marathodu kuda and the kodi chediyodu kuda ene Every branch it should grow out of the vine. ஒவ்வொரு கிளையுமே அந்த செடியிலிருந்து இல்ல அந்த மரத்திலிருந்து அது கொண்டு வர வெளியே வரப்படுகிறது. That's what the Bible says we are born again by 
his seed we grew out of him we came out of him just like every branch comes out of its own vine எப்படி அந்த திராட்சை செடியிலிருந்து கொடியானது வெளியே பிறப்பட்டு வருகிறதோ அதுபோல நாமும் அவருடைய வித்துலிய வித்துனாலே நாம் பிறப்பிக்கப்பட்டு அவருக்குள்ளிருந்து நாம் வெளியே பிறப்பிக்கப்பட்டவளாய் வெளியே வருகிறோம் once a branch comes out of a particular vine it stays in that vine for its whole life ஒரு செடியானது ஒரு கிளையானது ஒரு கொடியானது செடியிலிருந்து மரத்திலிருந்து அது எப்படி வெளியே அதிலிருந்து வருகிறதோ அது காலம் முழுவதுக்குமாய் அந்த செடியோடு அந்த மரத்தோடு அது இணைக்கப்பட்டதா அது வேறு எந்த ஒரு செடியோடு இல்ல வேறு எந்த ஒரு மரத்தோடு அதற்கு இணைப்பு கிடையாது வாழ்க்கை முழுவதுமா that particular branch which came out of that vine will stay in that vine forever for all seasons adhigamana ganamalaya irundhalum seri adhu suryan prakashikkira velichama irundhalum seri illa andhakaramaa irundhal seri ella kaala soolnalayilo andha veliye vandha kiliyaradhu andha marathoda adhu chediyoda adhu inindirkapadavendum in the same way the bible says we are born again by the incorruptible seed of god's word adhe pola da vedavasanam enna solugirathu avrude alivillada vithuna ஏ வசனத்தினாலே நாம் மறுபடி பிறப்பிக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறோம் ஜெனிபிகிரைஸ்ட் ஜீசஸ் இஸ் தி வைன் அண்ட் we are the branches because we came out of him இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவே அவர் மெய்யான திராட்சை செடியாய் இருக்கிறார் அவருக்குள்ளிருந்து வெளியே வந்தவர்களாய் இருக்கிற நாமோ கொடிகளாய் இருக்கிறோம் and it is very important that we remain as a branch connected to the vine of Christ Jesus forever and ever in our lives இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவாய் அந்த திராட்சை செடியோடு வெளியே வந்த கொடிகளாக நாம் எந்தெல்லைக்கு நிலத்திற்கிறவளாய் இருக்கிறது நோ பிரான்ச் இன் திஸ் வேர்ல்ட் தட் கேன் பீ கனெக்டட் டு டூ டிஃபரண்ட் ட்ரீஸ் ஆர் டூ டிஃபரண்ட் வைன்ஸ் கிளைமே எந்த ஒரு கொடியோ இரண்டு விதமான ஒரு மரத்திலோ ஒரு செடியிலோ அது இணைக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிற வாய்ப்பு இல்லை இட் will be connected to only one vine forever in all seasons எல்லா காலத்திலும் அது ஒரே மரத்தோடு ஒரே செடியோடு மட்டுமே அது இணைக்கப்பட்டதாய் இருக்க வேண்டும் தட்ஸ் ஹவ் ஈவன் பிலீவர்ஸ் ஹேவ் டு லிவ் देयर லைஃப்ஸ் அப்படியே விசுவாசிகளும் தங்கள் வாழ்க்கையிலே வாழ வேண்டிய இட்ஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் தட் we remain in him and connected with him for all aspects of our life ஒருமுறை அவருக்குள்ளிருந்து பிறப்பித்து வெளியே வரப்பட்ட நாம் எல்லா காலத்திலும் எல்லா சூழ்நிலையிலோ அவரோடு கூட நாம் இணைக்கப்பட்டவளாய் மட்டுமே இருக்க வேண்டும் for every area of our life we should remember that we are connected with him நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையின் எல்லா பகுதிகளிலும் அவரோடு கூட இணைக்கப்பட்டவதாய் இருக்கப்பட வேண்டும் for our every walk of life we must remember it is connected with him and the walking over nadayum kude avarodu kuda inakkapatta vanda irukka for every plans that we make we should remember we are a branch that is connected with him kadigira sagala thittangalum avarodu kuda inakkapatta vanda irukka for every decision we take we need to remember that we are connected with him kadigira over theermaanam kude avarodu kuda andavara yesu odu kuda inakkapatta vanda irukka pada vendum before taking each and every step of our life we need to remember we take every step having been connected to him namme vaalkaiyile ovvar adi nam eduthu vaippadarkku munbage anda nadayanad uridhi paduthuvadarkku nam avarodu kuda inaikkapattavulla irukka then only the branch can grow the way the vine is directing the branch appozhudhu maatrame kodiyo avante kilayo valarugiradhu ketra vidhamai anda sediyanad adarkuriya kaarigal adukku kodukiradha branch cannot decide its own growth anda kilayo kodiyo thannude valachi thane theermanikka yela a branch cannot decide i must grow in this shape i must have so many leaves and so many fruits by its own self na or kilayo kodiyo thannude ishtapadi naan ipadiyaga valarven ithana ilagale udeyana irpen illa ithana kanigale kodupen endru theermanikka yela only the vine it decides how a branch should grow anda chedi maatrame anda kilayanadu kodiyanadu eppadi adu valara vendum endra theermanikka because every branch that draws its own strength not from its own self but from the vine yen endal kilayanadu thanaga thanakku endha oru balathiyo sathiyo eduthukolla iyalaadu adu chediyilirundhu thaan adarkuriya kaarigalai eduthukolla iyalaadu that is why christ jesus is the vine and we are the branches adhanaal adara yesu christuve namakku thraachi chedi
God. He is the El Shaddai. That is the reason we his people we who follow him we who believe in him we who walk in him and talk in him we who move in him and have our being we have to be strong praise the name of the living God because we have a great God in us the scripture says greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world we are born again by his seed a strong seed cannot produce a weak offspring a perfect seed will not produce an imperfect offspring and a mighty seed will bring forth a mighty offspring so just because the seed is strong just because the seed is healthy just because vidaya edo aarogyama irukadanal automatically enna aidade aarogyamaga automatically thanagave it doesn't spontaneously you go strong adu thanagave adu aarogyam ulladai valandra but you have to be very conscious whether our growth in christ is strong sukulena valargira valarchile or aarogyam irukiradha endra nam sodithu paarkkanum how can you gain the strength when you grow in the lord andavukkule valargira valarchile avarude balathai nam endha vidathile nam petrukkolgiravala irukrom i always say i eppozhu solven growing is easy valaradhu romba solama but growing strong it's very important balamai valarvadhu da migavum mukkiyam growing strong it takes special efforts yenal balamai valarvadharku oru visheshitha muyarchi avasiyam why growing is easy yen valarchi migavum solavum all you have to do for growth is just eating valarvadharku veru saapadu saapta podu that is why as soon as a baby is born அதனால தான் குழந்தை பிறந்த உடனே வாட் இஸ் தி only work that it has அது செய்கிற ஒரே வேலை என்ன ஈட்டிங் சாப்பிடுறது ஈட்டிங் இஸ் தி only work that it does அது செய்கிற வேலை அது ஒண்டுதா whenever it's hungry it will drink milk and then it will go to sleep எப்பலாம் பசிக்குதோ அளவு பால குடிக்கும் படுத்து தூங்கும் ஈட் அண்ட் ஸ்லீப் ஈட் அண்ட் ஸ்லீப் அது சாப்பிட தூங்க சாப்பிட தூங்க சோ வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் டு தட் பேபி அந்த குழந்தைக்கு என்ன ஆகுது as it is eating and eating and eating and eating அது அவிதமாய் குடிக்க சாப்பிட குடிக்க சாப்பிட it keeps on growing and growing and growing and growing eat and grow avidamai saapida valara that is why growing is easy only eating makes us grow valarvadhu endru migavum solavam valarvadharku saapidal but if that baby has to grow strong adhe kolandhe or balamulla kolandhai valaravum these hands can grow big avudaiya kaigal ella and balamai irukka but if it has to grow strong innum ande balamai adu kattapada what it has to do adu seiya vendiyad enne that the muscles that growth have to handle pressure and வளர்ச்சியிலே ஒரு அழுத்தம் தேவையாய் இருக்கிறது ப்ரைஸ் தி நேம் ஆஃப் தி லிவிங் காட் தட்ஸ் வை ஈட்டிங் will make us just only to grow சாப்பிடுவது நாம் குடிப்பதல்ல நாம் வளர்ச்சி அடைவதற்கு மட்டுமே only exercising will make us strong பயிற்சி மட்டுமே நம்மை பலப்படுத்த கூடியதாக let's say a person has eaten for 20 years ஒரு நபர் 20 ವರ್ಷம் சாப்பிடுறார் he will be 5 and 1/2 6 feet tall அவர் 5 and 1/2 அடி உயரமுள்ளவர் ஆயிருப்பார் so much broad will be the inches of his shoulder அவருடைய தோள்பட்டை அகலம் வந்து பெரிதாக இருக்கலாம் பட் ஹி ஹஸ் டு பீ ஸ்ட்ராங் தட் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஆனா வளந்தா மாத்திரமல்ல அவர் பலமுள்ளவரா இருக்கப்பட ஹி ஹஸ் க்ரோன் பட் ஹஸ் ஹி க்ரோன் ஸ்ட்ராங் அவர் வளர்ந்து இருக்கறாரு ஓடிய பலமாய் இருக்கறாரா எஸ் ஹிஸ் ஹேண்ட்ஸ் ஹேவ் க்ரோன் அவருடைய கைகள் வளர்ந்து இருக்கு எஸ் ஹிஸ் ஃபீட் ஃபீட் ஹேவ் க்ரோன் அவருடைய கால்கள் வளர்ந்து இருக்கு ஹிஸ் லெக்ஸ் ஹேவ் க்ரோன் அவருடைய பாதங்கள் வளர்ந்து இருக்கு ஹி இஸ் டால் ஹி இஸ் ப்ராட் அவர் வந்து வளர்ந்து இருக்கறாரு அகலமாய் பட் ஹிஸ் ஹிஸ் ஸ்ட்ராங் ஆனா பலமாய் இருக்கறாரு சோ இஃப் ஹி வாண்ட்ஸ் டு பிகம் ஸ்ட்ராங் அப்படி பலமாய் இருக்க வேண்டும் வாட் டஸ் ஹி ஹேவ் டு டூ he has to work avar kriya seyavendi he has to move his feet and move his legs but if he would be lazy he is sleeping on a bed all the time saapittu saapittu somulavarai padukkil irundarana what will happen enna nadakkum that growth won't be a healthy growth and valarchi var aarogyamulla valarchi that will be the most unhealthy imperfect growth irukkaradhile aarogyamatra var valarchiyai kurai ullavar valarchi 
if a person keeps eating and eating and eating and doesn't move an inch or never stopped to stopped to vandu avanga adatha vittu asiyama unda what will happen to him enna nadakku he will have every disease in the medical science ah marthu vignathin padi ella vyadhiyum avarku he will have all pressure low pressure high pressure ella vidamana aluthangalum avarku low sugar high sugar adhe pole sakkara vyadhi i am not saying sugar and bp patients are lazy na vandu sakkara vyadhi pressure ullavanga vandu somal ullavargal lazy is one of the reasons that they get and somal thanathnala adha karanathnala but even active people also get those kind of things because they say many reasons are there but it is very important not to be lazy after we consume food as it is in the natural so also it is in the spiritual many people they read the word of God because the word of God is the sincere milk not only it is the sincere milk it is the bread of life not only it is the bread of life it is also the strong meat it is the same word that is the milk and the bread and the meat the same word can feed anyone if someone is new born in Christ the same word is a sincere milk somebody who have crossed the babyhood in their Christian life the same word is a bread to them someone matures with the time of their life in Christ the same word becomes a strong maker it's not that uh, you have uh, one bible for milk another bible for bread and another bible for meat the same word is milk bread and meat it can feed anyone and everyone now be it a person that is newly born again or be it a person that has been in Christ for 40-50 years yes they will grow they will keep on growing and growing and growing but will they grow strong that is the question what do they have to do if they have to grow strong in the Lord the scripture says be strong and of a good courage be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might just growing is not enough but growing strong is very important why what's the reason because there is an enemy out there the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places ஜலிப்பட்டிஸ் wanting to fight with this god seed in the devunude vitta irukra or varode innor varave vittanadu porada aayathamai kaathirukku the conflict of two different seeds has been happening right from the garden of eden adu ede thottathilende aarambathilende ana irandu vittukalana or prachane satchai undai kodukku right from the time that he was deceived evaal vanjikapatta ande kaalathil right from the time the lord said i will put enmity between your seed and her seed 
the conflict between these two seeds are happening all through the scriptures all through the dispensation of ages right between Cain and Abel that's what we see yeah. throughout the ages and it will end only with Christ and Antichrist in the days to come until that time the conflict between two seeds will always happen that's why we who are the seed of God living in this day and time we must always remember that there is an enemy that is always fighting with us many times people become friends with him in some of the things in their life why because they don't want him to uh, you know disturb him in their life and they don't have the capacity to resist him they love the Lord on one side but on the other side they are not able to tolerate uh, the irritation that the devil gives on the other side so they need to they, 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 they try to strike a balance between both seeds but it is not possible there. I told you before in the beginning and no branch it can be attached to two different trees if there is a branch it comes from only one seed from the root to the branch comes from only one seed no branch of any tree comes from two different seeds each and every branch is connected to only one seed so if we say we are born again by the incorruptible seed of God's word we came out of only this seed and we don't have any association with there is no way that we can strike a balance between two things in our life either we walk in light or in darkness the Bible talks about the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness there is no grey kingdom in the kingdom of God either black or white either good or evil either blessing or curse either life or death if we are born again by the incorruptible seed of God's word we belong to the kingdom of life we belong to the kingdom of light we belong to the good kingdom we belong to the kingdom that is of the blessing of God there is no place for any darkness in our life there is no place for any underground association with the son of perdition there should not be no association with the kingdom of darkness so if we make our connection with the Lord exclusive if we are connected only to him that is the time we won't just grow but we will grow strong praise the name of the living God because there are many believers these last days when they try to strike a balance they have some connection with God and then they have some association connection with the world when I say world I say it with the constant 
context because the scripture says the world lieth in wickedness yenda inda veda vasana ulagam pollaanukkul kedakkirathu praise the name of the living god it's impossible to have connection with both the worlds inda irandu ulaga thodu kuda inaikkapattirukkum saathiyam illada just as it is impossible for a branch to be connected with two different vine or trees eppadi ore kilayo ore kodiyo irandu vithyasapatta sedilum marathilum adu inaikkapattirukka mudiyadhu yes we are in this world naam inda ulagathula da irukrom jesus also lived in this world yes whom inda ulagathile vaalndu kadandha it doesn't mean that if we are living in this world we have to say yes to what all things the world says yes naam inda ulagathile vaalgiradhala ulagam solugira ella kaaryathukku maam endru solla vendi avasiyam kedaiyadhu lot of people give this as a reason na idhukku oru kaaranam janangal solvaanga people say brother how will this possible idhu eppadina saathiyapadu if we are living in this world naam inda ulagathile vaalndomna there are certain things we have to compromise sila kaaryam avangaloda da namu ottukkonum there are certain deviations that we need to take from god sila take from the word of god ennatra vaarthil ninnu devanathil ninnu naam vittu velai ulagam you know brother god will understand that adha andavar purichukkuvar we will say sorry and then we will come back andavar kadukku vartham therivithu naan thirumbikkuvar in my last days i will come back aa ena kadesi naatkalil naan thirumbikkuvar after few years i will come back illavar sila varshangal kalithu naan no if we are god seeks we won't be able to say that devarude vitta irupamaral avarale pirandavala irupamaral indha vaai solla if we are born again by his seed there will be inner consciousness that will be pricking us all the time vitta avare vaarthai naan marubadi pirandavala Or Solomon, or David, or all saints in the Old Testament. Are there part parts of the man who are not Noah, or not Joshua, or not Abraham, or not David, or Solomon? Who are they not part of? Or you take the saints of the New Testament, the apostles, the disciples of Christ. No, are there part of the parts of the man who are not apostles, or not Christians, or not Jews? They all lived their life in this world, but they still lived a life that is not of this world. Okay, all are in the boom. the name of the living god so let us not give this reason we have to live our life in this world it is not possible that's the lie of the devil anega samayangalla idha kaaranam asam andha ulagathula thana irukrom ulagathoda kaariyatha nam othu da povum endru solli visasu solugira poi naame solla kooda okay to make little compromises here and there konja inge konja anga konja edha othu poitaam sari no sir illenga an elect of god will never compromise devanale therinjikollapattavan oru kaalam appadi seiyamaatta that's the devil's lie adu visasu de we are not here to listen to devil's lie but we are here to listen to god's truth na vande visasude poiye viswasikkiradukaga alla devunde satya vaarthigale viswasikka nam irukkrom the seed of god will esteem only god's truth and will always belittle the devil's lie devunude 
தாய் இருக்கிறவர் அவரால் தெரிந்து கொள்ளப்பட்டவராயிருக்கிறார் அவருடைய வார்த்தையின் சத்தத்தை மாத்திரமே அதை வேண்டும் <laughs> on him for our personal life let us rely only on him for our family life let us rely only on him for our needs let us only rely on him for our family let us rely only on him for the marriage life let us rely only on him for all our plans for the future let us rely only on him no matter whatever decisions that we need to take let us rely only on him see when we rely only on him for everything we will all the aspects of our life it will grow strong praise the name of the living God I said it's one thing to grow but it is another thing to grow strong how can we grow strong let's go to first Timothy one Timothy chapter number 4 <coughs> verse number 7 and verse number 8 7-8 this is apostle paul writing to his spiritual son timothy he says but refuse profane and old wives fables and exercise thyself rather unto godliness verse 7 sirgeyadum kelavigal pechumai irukkira kattukadhaikku velagi செய்யறாங்க <laughs> people they take a morning walk because they want to exercise avar kaalaiyile nadandu selgiraargal adu oru paichiyaga avargal they go to the open terrace and they do exercise avar motte maadi kichendru nadandu palagiraargal adu oru paichi so like we exercise our body for a healthy strong growth nammudaiya shariram aarogyamulladai adu balamulladai valarvadharkku naam edukkira indha paichi indha moyarchigal ella the scripture is talking here about exercising ourselves unto godly நீங்கள் தேவ பக்திக்கு ஏதுவாக பயிற்சி பண்ண வேண்டும் என்று வேத வசனம் சி தி இங்கிலீஷ் வேர்ட் காட்லினஸ் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் காட் லைஃப் தீஸ் டூ வேர்ட்ஸ் கனெக்டட் டுகெதர் இந்த காட்லினஸ் அப்படிங்கிறது தேவனுடைய ஜீவன் என்ற தமிழ்ல காட் லைஃப் காட் லைஃப் தேவன் ஜீவன் சி வி ஆர் லிவிங் आवर லைஃப்ஸ் இன் கிறிஸ்ட் நாம் வாழ்ற வாழ்க்கை கிறிஸ்துவுக்குள் நாம் வாழ்றோம் சோ இன் திஸ் காட் லைஃப் இன் திஸ் லைஃப் இன் கிறிஸ்ட் இந்த கிறிஸ்துவுக்குள் வாழ்ற இந்த வாழ்க்கையிலே தேர் ஹஸ் டு பீ an எக்சர்சைஸ் அங்கே ஒரு பயிற்சி இருக்கப்பட வேண்டும் திஸ் இஸ் தி எக்சர்சைஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஸ்பிரிட் இது வந்து ஆவிக்குரிய ஒரு பயிற்சி திஸ் இஸ் தி எக்சர்சைஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஸ்பிரிட் மேன் இது ஆவிக்குரிய மனிதனுடைய பயிற்சி திஸ் இஸ் தி எக்சர்சைஸ் ஆஃப் தி இன்னர் மேன் இது உள்ளான மனிதனுடைய பயிற்சி ஆகும் Then verse number 8 says for bodily exercise profit at little sarira moyarchi arpa prayojanam ullathu see in verse number 7 apostle paul timothy is an young man to whom he writes ange timothy avan or ela valiban adala paulo posanam avaru kelidugira everybody who is young they know how to be strong and how to be fit nila vayathil avargal valiva parvathil irukkiravargal theriyo thangal sarirathai balamai avargal thagudhiya eppadi vaithukolla vendum endru in verse number 7 paul the apostle wrote about a different kind of exercise ange or vithyasamana paichi petti ange solugira he is saying exercising unto godliness deva bhakti He is talking about the spiritual exercise. So because he is an young man, he wanted to compare that exercise. 
exercise with the physical exercise ava oru ila valivana irukkaradunaale andha payichiyai andha sarira payichi avikuriya payichoda avaru oppittanu solugira maybe timothy was a fit man oru vela andha timothy vandu valiva vayila vanta nalla balamulla maybe timothy was a man who who had some passion to keep his body fit all the time andha sarirathai kattukopaga vaithukolla nenithirppu vanbol but apostle paul writing to him he says bodily exercise profit at little sarira payarchi appa prayojanam ulladhu so now he is comparing the spiritual exercise with the natural exercise ipa avikuriya payichiye sarira payichoda avaru oppittu solla he said bodily exercise profit at little sarira payarchi appa prayojanam he didn't say there is no profit alla vande prayojanam illa nu sonnala but he says there is little profit in bodily exercise and sarira payarchi ni konja prayojanam irukku let me tell you i am not uh, you know advocating against uh, a natural exercise or physical exercise alla sarira payarchi ko illa exercise pandradhukku naan edraliyaga naan edhu sonnala the scripture says our body is the temple of the holy spirit ennal nammude shariram devunude jeevulla aalayamaa it is very important to take care of this body சரீரத்தை நாம் பராமரிக்க வேண்டிய அவசியம் பட் இட் प्रॉफिट्स ओनली लिटिल ஆனா அது கொஞ்சம் தான் பிரயோஜனப்படுது இஃப் யூ கெட் அப் அண்ட் கோ ஃபார் a morning walk please do it காலையில எழுந்து நீங்க நடப்பேர்ச்சி செய்றீங்களா அந்த ஐரியமா செய்யுங்க பட் ஆல்வேஸ் ரிமெம்பர் தேர் இஸ் ओनली लिटिल प्रॉफिट ஆனா நல்ல ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்கா இல்ல கொஞ்சம் தான் பிரயோஜனம் If you want to go to gym two three times a week, you can go. Now, our three or two or three, you go to gym and go and do exercise. Man, go and go. But the truth of God's word says there is only little profit. They will say, "What the insatiable soul is that? I will come and not pray again." How can we understand this little profit? In the come and pray again, that is how we are going to find it. Maybe you live five years longer. If you live five years longer, you will have eyes to see more. maybe if your time is 70 if you exercise and keep your body fit and get rid of all the problems and you can manage another 5 or 10 years na ungal edho ungal kelu vayadana ninga da exercise pannina inga or 5 10 varsham ungal aayu naatkal koodu what will happen after 10 years and 10 varshathukku appra enna agum you don't live forever ellara eppa po enna nekke neenga vaala poradilla only our time in this world in this body might prolong for some time inda ulagathula inda sharirathe kondu ningal vaalgira vaalka konja neetama po neeti po i know a gentleman who is an elderly person enakku oru mudidhu vayadulla oru manushana theriyo he is not from our country but he is from a different country he never eats any other meat other than only chicken enakku therinja varaikkum avaru vandu namma deshathal illa velinadu maara desam avar chicken thavara vera edhuvume saagamatta He is 75 years old. He will go to gym and lift 50 kilos and everything. Ah, yellow thing in the way to all that. Now, but on the gym, go for ye. Our weight to keep by itself. When he talked with me, he said, "My goal is to live for 100 years." Ah, yeah, no, the all that come. Let's say, man, no, no, by so far, I can't afford to get that. The age of my life must go into those three figures. Ah, That's what he said. Ah, yeah, no, the walking, the height, all that, man, the ah, the level, the mood, the end, all that. Though he has some issues with his heart, he is very healthy. Anna, our to, all of our, 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 all of our, carry it, all of our, it, all of our, it, all of our. He says, I do all these things because uh, I want to live long. Anna, I tell you, this is a man. Anna, for the night, all of it, man. But he never said, I want to live forever. Anna, I tell you, all of it, man, is so little. So the scripture says, the bodily exercise profit at the little. There is little profit in it. The body, that we are paying, the money, the car, the car, the price, the car, all of it. The Bible doesn't say no profit in it. There is little profit in it. Where the man does not pay, he doesn't say that. Some of it is not there. But the rest of the scripture says. Neither the man does not say no. But godliness, godly exercise, spiritual exercise is profitable unto all things, having the promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. தேவ பக்திக்கான பக்தியானது இந்த ஜீவனுக்கும் இந்த பின்பரும் ஜீவனுக்கும் வாக்கு தத்தம் உள்ளதாகையால் எல்லாவற்றிலும் பிரயோஜனம் உள்ளது பிரேஸ் தி நேம் ஆஃப் தி லிவிங் காட் பாடிலி எக்சர்சைஸ் प्रॉफिट அட் தி லிட்டில் சரீர பயிற்சி சரீர பயிற்சி கொஞ்சம் தான் பிரயோஜனம் பட் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் எக்சர்சைஸ் ஆனால் ஆவிக்குரிய பயிற்சி காட்லி எக்சர்சைஸ் தேவனுக்குரிய பயிற்சி growing strong in the lord ஆண்டவருக்குள்ளே பலமாய் நம்மை வளர்ச்சடை செய்து being strong in the lord அவருக்குள்ளே நம்மை பலமாய் our healthy growth in christ அவருக்குள்ளே நம்ம ஆரோக்கியம் It is profitable unto all things. अरे ये लाभ चुकुं प्रोजन अपने दायिन्ह। Why it is profitable unto all things? अरे ये लाभ चुकुं प्रोजन 
Because it has the promise for the life that now is and of that which is to come. Praise the name of the living God. A lot of people think spiritual exercise will benefit for them only for the life to come. But, but the scripture here says the spiritual exercise the spiritual strength of our life this godly exercise it has benefit for the life that we are living now and of that which is to come praise the name of the living God yes we need to be strong in the Lord now even for the life that we are living in this world we need to be strong praise the name of the living God once there was a time someone was possessed with an evil spirit and they were trying to find someone to come and pray for that person that is why they called up a person because they had his business card he is the president of a big Christian institution they say he is the doctor of divinity when you see the business card he had almost all the letters in the English alphabets what I mean to say is so long was his education so long was his degree he knew philosophy he knew theology he knew this and he knew that he, he, he had the best of education in the spiritual side and also in the secular field they called him and asked him please come and pray for this person that is possessed with an evil spirit but he said I am sorry I don't know but a person who doesn't know anything he was strong in the Lord he just came and stood before that person that was possessed with the demonic spirit that evil spirit cried out and was lifted out of that person that our education won't help us the strength of this worldly knowledge won't help us all these muscle power won't stand against the powers of the enemy the enemy has got more power than us but if we are strong in the Lord if we are strong in our spirit if we are strong in our godliness and in the God life no enemy will be able to stand against us no mountains will be able to stand before us because we are strong in the Lord we are strong in the spirit why? because we need to exercise ourselves unto godliness. Having the promise of the life that now is out of that which is to come. Praise the name of the living God. Growing in faith is one thing. Even growing strong in our faith is another thing. Growing in the Lord means growing in faith. Because the life that we are living in Christ is a faith life. This Bible doesn't just talk about growing in faith. But it is talking about growing strong in our faith. In Jude chapter number 1 and verse number 20 it says but ye beloved Building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of the living God. 
பயிற்சி <laughs> when they eat they grow but when they exercise they become strong in their growth avargal valargirargal anal paichi edukumbodhu avargal balapadugirar build up yourself in most holy faith maha parishuddhamana viswasathin mel ungale exercise yourself unto godliness ningal deva bhakti keduvaga ningal paichi pannunga how can we exercise eppadiyaga nam paichi pannu because yenna godly exercise is more important than the natural exercise the yerke sarira paichi ke kaatilum deva bhakti kaana paichi na adhigam prayojanam illa this physical body it's not eternal inda sarira maanadhu adu nithyamana oru sariram alle it is there it is going to be there on this earth until the time the lord permits andave namak anumadhikkum kaala varaikkum aayad inda bhoomiyile irukkum but the man inside the spiritual man aanal avullaga irukkira and aavikuriya manidhan the real man the inner man and the ullana manidhan unmaiyana manidhan is going to live forever avan endrendraikkum jeevikiravar so you have here two different men inga irandu vyathasapatta manidhargalai the natural man and the spiritual man கே மனிதன் ஆவிக்குரிய மனிதன் ஒன் மேன் இஸ் a temporal man ஒரு மனிதன் அவன் தற்காலிகமானவன் but the man that is born again he is an eternal man மறுபடியும் பிறந்த மனிதனோ அவன் நித்தியமானவன் now you tell me இப்ப சொல்லுங்க who is more precious யார் அதிக விலையேற பெற்றவர்கள் the temporal man or the eternal man தற்காலிகம் உள்ளவனா இல்ல நித்தியமானவனா ஆ eternal man is more precious he is more valuable but yet you think in your life you have 24 hours in a day let's say you wake up morning at 6 o'clock and go to bed uh, maybe 9 or 10 o'clock in the night in those 24 hours and 24 mani neramo most of the things that we are doing nam seigira adhiga pachamana velaigal for the 90% or 95% or even 99% of those 24 hours 90 ila 95 ila 99 sadavidam kuda is it connected with the temporal man or the eternal man adhe tarkaliga manidhanukku vela seigirama illa nithyamana manidhanukku vela seigirama morning what you do after you get up kaalile endha udane enna seiringa good people they brush and drink coffee nalla pallu velagidu kaapu kudipanga i know some people that always drink coffee even they don't mind about brushing selar irukanga pallu velakkaradha pathiye kaalile endicha udane kaapi kaapu vaai whether brushing or drinking coffee for which man it is and kaapi neenga pallu velaki kudikirunga illa adu yaarukku seiringa pallu velagiradhu nithya manidhanuka அனித்தியமான மனிதன்கா இஸ் வாட் அ டெம்பரல் மேன் அது ஒரு நித்தர நிரந்தரமான மனுஷனுக்கு அனித்தியமான ட்ரிங்கிங் காஃபி டெம்பரல் மேன் தற்காலிக பிரேக்ஃபாஸ்ட் காலை சாப்பாடு டெம்பரல் மேன் தற்காலிக மனிதன் गोइंग टू வர்க் பிரதர் வேலைக்கு போறா ஃபார் விச் மேன் eternal man nithya mana manushanukku all the money that we earn nam sambadhikkira sagala pan is it for the eternal man nithya mana manushanukku i want to wear clothes na thuni podu i want to eat good food nalla saapadu i want to build a good house nalla veedu na i want to buy a house na veedu vaanga i want to get married na andha mathra i want to buy car i want this and i want that adu vaangana idu vaangana adu venum idu venum 8 hours you work or 10 hours shift you work it is for the temporal man 8 mani nera vela senjal theri 10 mani nera neenga vela senjalo adu ellame nerandra lunch canteen brother madhyana canteen 11 o'clock tea biscuit brother 11 mani ki tea biscuit 4 o'clock bun vada and tea brother 4 mani ki bun vada to which man endha manushanukku ha arke for the temporal man 
evening come home take bath for which man you took bath temporal man then eating dinner for which man temporal man we are doing so much things for our temporal man we want to make sure that the life that we live in this world is a, is a, is a healthy life we want to eat food we want to live in a nice house we want to put on good clothes we have to go to school best school we have to go to best college for education what are they teaching in the college do they teach anything for our spiritual growth will it help us to exercise ourselves under godliness செய்யும் <laughs> let's say somebody is earning 10000 rupees every month if you calculate all the things that he spends in that one month and one month le avar selavadikira ella selavadippai nama kanakla vappa most of the things adhiga pachamana karyam for which man endha manushanukku Yes, they will put tithes and offering here and there if they really want to obey the scriptures. But most of the money that they spend. Food. Current bill. Is there any connection between food and spiritual man and current bill and spiritual man? So, what do we understand from this? Most of the time we spend is for this natural man. We want to make sure that everything is right and perfect for this man. Most of the money that we spend is for this man but yet in all of that the scripture says bodily exercise profited little but godliness is profitable unto all things having the promise of the life that now is out of that which is to come ஒன்பதாம் <laughs> Number 1 முதலாவது like i said if you eat god's word you grow நீங்க தேவனுடைய வார்த்தையை சாப்பிட்டா நீங்க வளருவீங்கன்னு சொன்னேன் you will grow in the knowledge of god நீங்க தேவனுடைய ஆரிகிர அறிவிலே வளர்வீர்கள் but the knowledge have to be applied in our life ஆனா அந்த அறிந்து கொள்ளப்பட்ட அறிவு அது நம்மளுடைய வாழ்க்கையிலே நாம் அனுபவத்திலே கொண்டு வரணும் it must be applied it must be brought into practical application in our life namme vaalkaiyile adu anubhava poorvamaga adu nadaimurai paduthapada vendum praise the name of the living god when a person eat yes he eats and that food nourishes his body and he grows or number aagaram pusikkarare saapraare adu avarku satte kudukkirathu avar valarraare but if he doesn't exercise he will get sick appadiye avar paichi merkala vittal avar vandu sick aagi viduvaare if he is lazy and doesn't move himself avar somalulavarai asayamal irparana what food that he consumed for his good it will be a trouble to him tanakku nanmaya avar enna saaptaaro adellame avarku thimaya poidum so when a person eats and his body is nourished oru nabar saapittu thanudaiya shariram adu satthinaale 
புதுப்பிக்கப்படும் when he is energized he must use that energy right avarkulle undagura and aatral and energy anadhu velippaduthapada vendum see what is exercising making use of the energy and the payichi endru enna endral avarkullaga vandra and energy avar vandu veliye kondu varu spending the energy and the energy avar selavalikka vendum in modern medical terms they say burning the calories ipa modana marthuva reethiya solranga na and the calorie avar erikka vendum same way adhe pole when we consume the sincere milk of god's word and grow nam devude inda thiruvasanamaya kalangam illada gnana paale nam pusikkumbodhu when we eat this bread of life inda jeeva appathai nam pusikkum when we eat this strong meat inda balamulla aagarathe nam pusikkum yes we are spiritually nourished nam aavikuriya reethiyile nam balapadugirom and we are spiritually energized adu mathramalla aavikuriya nalaiyile nam but we need to understand we need to spend that energy ana nam petrukonda anda bala petrukonda anda energy ஏ நாமில இருந்து நாம் செலவழிக்க வேண்டும். We need to practically apply that energy in our life. ஒரு பூர்வமாய் நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையை நாம் நடைமுறைப்படுத்த வேண்டும். If we don't apply it, நாம் இதை செய்யாவிட்டால் what is meant to be good will be an evil to us. எதெல்லாம் நன்மைனை நாம் எடுத்து உட்கொண்டு நாம் போஷித்தோமோ அவையே நமக்கு தீமையாக மாறும். In an a person who grows unhealthily a person who is not strong in his growth avarude valachil avar balam illadavaraai valarum he will not live he will die avar vaala uirode irukka mudiyadhu avar marithu povaar a person who is unhealthy though he eats he won't grow he won't have life he will die arokyam illada nilaiyile avar enna da pusithalum enna da mukkondalum avar needithu vaala mudiyadhu avar marithu vidu why he gained the energy but he failed to apply the energy avar thanakku andha aagarathnalum undagura balamum energy undaga vendum endru pusikira anal adu nadamare padutha it is the same way my brothers and sisters ave porve sagodara sagodrigale when we drink the sincere milk of god's word devunde vasanamaiya kalagam illada gnana palam as we grow and as we are energized nam yebidamai valandu adukulle naatrale nam petru we need to apply the strength in our life avade petru konda balathai and aatrale namde vaalkaiyile nam upayogikka vendum praise the name of the living god in other words we need to exercise ourselves spiritually illa avikure nilaiyile nam palamenaame payichi vikkavittar that is called as meditation in the scriptures angada da veda vasanam dhyanam endru solugirathu bible talks about meditation vedam dhyanam endra oru vaarthai solugirathu you get up in those early hours and turn on the television you have meditation going on in all channels ah ee adhigalile elindiruchu tholakaatchi therndinga and dhyanam pogiratha paakala program yoga meditation this meditation that meditation and dhyanam indha dhyanam endru solli anega kaarigal but a believer don't need to turn on the television for meditation ana oru viswasi dhyanathukkaga tholakaatchi therakka vendi avasiyam kediyadhu the best meditation that anyone can ever do is on the scriptures veda vasanatha tharanda podu endha oru navarum endha oru viswasiyam adile dhyanathai kondu let us go to the book of joshua yosua elugina pusthakam podu chapter number 1 onravadu adhigaram in verse number 9 the lord told joshua be strong and of a good courage onbadha vasanathile nee palam kondu thidamaradhaayiru but before he said be strong and of a good courage in verse number 9 inda onbadha vasanathile palam kondu thidamaradhaayiru endru avanidathile solvadharkku munbaga in verse number 8 the lord spake and said unto him etta vasanathile aandavar pesi sonna kaariya he said this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate there in day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shall make thy way prosperous and then thou shall have good success in the nyaya pramana pusthakam un vaaye vittu piriyadirpadaga idil ezhudi irukkiravargalin padi ellam nee seiya gavanama irukkumadi iravum pagalum adha dhyanithu kondirupayaga appozhudhu nee un valiyai vaikkapaduvai appozhudhu buddhimaanaayum nadandu kolvar praise the name of the living god even in psalm number 1 ondam sangeethathilum kuda when we read uh, 
the first two scriptures this is what david writes about the blessed man or baakyamulla manushane kurithu david ange ezhudi irukkara who is a blessed man yaar aashirvadamulla baakyamulla manushan a blessed man is a strong man or baakyamulla manushan dhaan baakyam saadi a weak man cannot be a blessed man and here when he talked about the blessed man he says <coughs> he said blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the lord and in his law that he meditate day and night உமார்களுடைய ஆலோசனை நடவாலமும் பாவிகளுடைய வழியில் இல்லாமலும் பரியாசக்காரர் உட்காரும் இடத்தில் உட்காராமலும் கத்தருடைய வேதத்தில் பிரியமாய் இருந்து இரவும் பகலும் அவருடைய வேதத்தில் தியானமாய் இருக்கிற மனுஷன் பாக்கியவா பிரைஸ் தி நேம் ஆஃப் தி லிவிங் காட் சி மெடிடேஷன் இஸ் processing the word of god இந்த தியானம் என்கிறது தேவனுடைய வார்த்தையை இன்ன அதிகமாக நாம் அறிந்து உட்கார்ந்து அறிந்து கொள்ள அது நமக்கு வந்து விஷயம் just take for example our natural growth நம்முடைய இயற்கை வளர்ச்சி உதாரணத்துக்கு எடுத்துக்கொள்வோம் we consume food நாம் சாப்பாடை உட்கொள்கிறோம் and the waste is eliminated the next day அந்த கழிவானது அடுத்த நாள் நம்மை விட்டு கடந்து போகும் there is intake and there is output அதுபோல நாம் உட்கொள்கிறது நம்மை விட்டு வெளியே கடந்து போகும் input and output உள்ளே கொண்டு போவது but in between those things and the irandu karyangalukku idaipattana that is where the exercise must happen anga da and the paichi anadu nadakkapada vendum praise the name of the living god in between the input and output the exercise has to take place nam aagarathe ulkolvadharkum kalivu vittu nammai vittu kadandu povadharkku idaipatta kaalathile nam if somebody bypasses exercise and concentrates only on eating and doing the other thing there is no use orthe paichiye thavarthu vittu saapidradho veliya pogara karyathe maathra avar gavana vaithirpaar that is kind of a person who will get sick apdi patta nabar dhaan avar aarogyam illada that is a kind of a person who will get weak apdi patta nabar balavinam ullavara maari vidu that is the kind of the person instead of living he will die vaalvadharku badhalaga avar irandu pogiradhu but in the same way my brothers and sisters adhe polave sahodara sahodara as we consume the word of god devade vaathai nam ukkollu as we talk about the word of god vaathai kurithu nam pesu as we talk about this revelation and that revelation indha veli paada adha veli paada illa it is very important that we exercise on that and the kodukapatta utkonda karyathile velipaduthra karyathile nam dhyanam seigiroma praise the name of the living god when we read a chapter in the bible nam oru vedathile oru adhigarathai nam vasithom something goes inside edho onnu ulle podu nam but after it goes inside ulle pona pinbe it must get into process in our life avare vaalkkulle oru nadamarikkulle kaadi it must go into work in our life avare vaalkkulle kriya seigira it must go and mix with our faith it must sing be rooted deeply in our heart and in our mind and it must transform us it must transform our mind it must transform our thinking and finally it must manifest in our life that's what happens in meditation that is why reading the word of god is one thing coming in a set up like this and hearing the word of god is one thing attending bible studies are different you can watch a lot of messages hear a lot of messages but after we hear we need to put ourselves into exercise and to godliness padita pinbe ketta pinbe adella arindu konda pinbe velipatta velipattukalla pinbe adai kuritha oru dhyanam adai kuritha arivu unarvu namakku meditation is a process and dhyanam dhan namakkulle kadandu pogura oru there are three steps in meditation dhyanathile moondu vidha nilaigal undu number 1 apprehension mudhalavathu kaariyangale arindu kollugirathu to understand purindu kollugirathu secondly irandavathu to assimilate adai kuritha arivu namakku erpadugirathu assimilation means making it your own ungalukku neenga adai sondamaakki kolvathu sorry assimilation means making something your own arindu konda kaaryathai ungalukku sondamaakki kolvathu and finally application adutha adai nammude vaalkile nadamarai paduthuvathu putting it into practice adai anubhava reethiya apprehension 
ஒரு <laughs> Is 
the name of the living God. That is the reason we need to be in tune with the author of the Bible because we try before we try to know what is in the Bible. Praise the name of the living God. It is one thing to know what the scripture says. It is one thing to flip the pages of your Bible and say, what does Numbers say? What does Ezra say? What does Matthew say? But it is another thing to get first in tune with the author of the Bible. The Bible is the greatest book in the history. And forever, this is the only book that is the greatest book. Just like a textbook reading the scriptures. Read the Bible in tune with the author of the Bible. Our heart and the heart of God must synchronize before we go into the word of God. There must be an agreement and alignment between us and the Almighty God before we approach His word in our lives. Praise the name of the living God. Unless we have that confirmation now. Unless we have the confirmation of the relationship. Unless we have the confirmation of the fellowship and the communion that we have with them. You can talk about any knowledge in this Bible. You can go to the best of the Bible colleges in this world. It will be of no use. You will know what God says. But why is he saying? Why is he saying this to me? To which area of my life he is saying this? At, at this time why he has to say this? The purpose won't be accomplished in our life. But my brothers and sisters in Christ, you are the seed of the living God. If you are born again by the incorruptible seed, my brothers and sisters, I tell you this morning, don't rely on the intellectual knowledge of the Bible. First, make sure you have the relationship and fellowship with Him. Be sure that you know the author of the Bible. When you know the author of the Bible, that's the time he reveals his word to us. This book is not of it has got nothing to do with the intellectual knowledge. It is all about the revelation that comes from God. And that revelation comes based on the strength of your relationship and fellowship and communion with Him. A lot of times people say, 
brother i know the scriptures anega nerathula solvaanga enak nalla veda vasanam alla but but i don't know how to live ana idu padi eppadi vaalradhu enak therilla you know the problem prachana enna theriyuma there is no connection with the author avarodu kuda inaippu illa praise the name of the living god nandri naamathukke men once i heard a story from one of the messages that uh, uh, brother brenham had preached paru mure saudaram brenham prasangam pannina prasangathe patti na kelvi it's a very real story adu unmayana oru samayam and in that story he is talking about a woman who is a voracious reader oru penmani irukanga avanga nariya pusthaka vaasikku kudiyathu she can read the uh, any kind of book of any size within few hours selamani nerangalile adu eppadi patta periya pusamaa irundhal seri adu edhe kurithu da irundhal seri andama vaasu even it is of hundreds of pages she can finish it in a matter of uh, hours 100 page ulla pusthama irundha kuda adu selamani nerangalile padithu mudithuvar but at one particular instance ana ore oru kurippitta samayam see because this woman is a reader she used to go to library a lot and uh, borrow books and to the bookstore a lot to buy books to read it அந்த புத்தகம் வாசிக்கிறதுல ஆர்வம் அதிகமா இருக்குறனால இவங்க லைப்ரரிக்கு போய் புத்தகம் எடுப்பாங்க புக் ஸ்டோருக்கு போய் நிறைய புத்தகம் வாங்கி படிப்பாங்க there's one particular book she bought ஒரு முறை இவர் வெல் சென்று வாங்கன ஒரு புத்தகம் she came home and she started to read it அது வீட்டுக்கு வந்து வாசிக்க ஆரம்பித்தாங்க for some reason she could not read more than 10 pages அவங்க சில காரணம் என்னன்னு தெரியல ஒரு 10 page க்கு மேல அவங்கால வாசிக்க முடியல she folded that book and kept it in the shelf அது மூடி திரும்ப ஷெல்ஃப்ல வச்சிட்டு after few weeks she looked at that book okay let me take it and read it i have paid for that book சில வாரம் கழிச்சு காசு கொடுத்து வாங்கனே திரும்ப தான் எடுத்து படித்து போ again she started to read திரும்பவும் எடுத்து வாசித்தாங்க more than 10 page she couldn't read ஆண்டு ஒரு 10 பக்கம் தான் அது மேல வாசிக்க some reason she could not keep her focus on that book yeah, or reading in the book because the reason they avargal and the pusthathil ethan the gavanathai solithu avalaala vaasikka illa somehow she was not being attracted to the things that are written in there adha pettirukkira kaariyangal avargal endha vidathilum cover cheesayilla vaasikka aasai thundala The content of that book is not captivating her. Our the book of the Lord, he heard the particular article, and that come with the carrier, our little pull like that, our arvati kundu varla. So again and again, she read a few pages and kept it. Sir, Malvi Vasi ke, Swarasya mila thun matu ki kundu ke. But one fine day, or an hour late, she was drinking coffee in a coffee shop. Or a coffee kade loka na coffee shop to thun. After a few minutes, there was another man that bought coffee and came and sat at the same table opposite to her. and we left and sat so when they were drinking coffee as strangers annirlai oru 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 arumugam illada nilayile avargal thangal vaangana coffee avargal kudithu because they were close to each other they started talking with each other apdi edhir edhir avargal ukkandu kudithu kondirukkanal avargal pesa aarambichu they talked about their life avargal vaalkai kurithu pesu they talked about their past avargal kadatha kaalangalai kurithu they talked about their family avargal kudumbathai patti pesa aarambichu and finally the time came to know what each one of them is doing for their living avargalude vaalkai ka avargal enna seigrargal engra kaariyathai kurithu This woman said, "I'm working this place for this many years, and so on and so forth." Now, yesterday, while the car was in the road, I was going to work in the village sector. And somebody and finally, she asked, "What do you do for your living?" Papa, and the man she and the man she ne pati keta niye ne seeringa. He said, "I am an author." Now, what he did tell her? I am a writer. I have written so many books. Now, I have a pusha gali gali di urkere na ne di tell her. Then she asked. Uh, What are some of the books that you wrote Sir, lately? Sir, in the past, some of the letters in the books are all in the paper. And what is your name? My name is Na. And the name of the book that he said, one of the names, and the his name, the author, is the same one as the book that she has in a shelf. அவருடைய புத்தக அலமாரியிலே வைக்கப்பட்ட அந்த புத்தகத்தின் எழுத்தாளர் தான் அந்த நபர் அவருடைய பேரை சொன்னா அவர் தான் அதை எழுதிக்கிறார் அறிந்து கொண்டார் ஆர் யூ தட் ஆத்தர் யூ ரோட் தட் புக் நீங்க தான் அந்த புத்தகத்தை எழுதுனீங்களா நீங்க தான் அந்த புத்தகத்தின் எழுத்தாளரா ஷி சேட் ஓகே ஓகே அண்ட் தென் ஃபைனலி எவரிபடி யூ நோ தே டிஸ்பர்ஸ் அண்ட் தே வென்ட் பேக் ஹோம் தே போத் தேம் அவர் வந்து மற்ற காரியங்களை எதுவும் சொல்லல வீட்டுக்கு கடந்து பட் ஆஸ் ஷி வாஸ் டிரைவிங் இன் அ கார் டு கோ டு அ ஹவுஸ் ஆல் தன்னுடைய காரை ஓட்டிக்கொண்டு வீட்டுக்கு வந்த உடனே ஷி குட் வெயிட் ஃபார் தி டைம் ஃபார் ஹர் டு one more time grab that book and read it meendumai oru mari andha pusthakathai eduthu vaasikkar but as soon as she got home avan veettukku vandha she took that book from the shelf and the alamarile andha pusthakathai eduthu within two hours she finished it then a rendu mani nerathukulla andha pusthakathai what's the difference enna vyathyasu how could she finish it now but she could do it before she tried it many times sikka mudiyama adha gavanam illama swarasyam illada irundhava rendu mani nerathula andha pusthakathai avala eppadi vaasikka mudiyum the many times she tried to read before anega mara the 
She didn't know who the author was. She don't know what kind of a person he is. She doesn't know anything about his life. But after her meeting in the coffee shop, she knew the author of the book. She knew what kind of a person he is. She knew what kind of a life that he has lived. And that's why it made everything interesting. That's why my brothers and sisters, many people think the word of God sometimes is boring. Are some people they have fixed some number of chapters to be read each and every day? They merely do it just as a ritual and as a tradition. But if we are the seed of God, that's not a way to approach the word of God. When we read this book, when we study this book, when we come to hear the word of God from this book, we must be in tune with the author. If we are connected with him, we will have the revelation of this word. Only that can help us to meditate on the word of God. Understand. You can understand only when you know him first. Because he and his word, they are not separate entities. He is the same as the word and the word is same as him. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. And the word became flesh. And the flesh is the living word. Christ Jesus is the living word. Yes, he died, he was buried and he rose again. But still he is living. That is why this word is still the living word. It has got life in it. It has got the life in it to do what it says. Praise the name of the Lord. Understand. Knowing the author. Not like an intellectual bookish knowledge. I've heard of some people, if you quote the reference, they will say the scriptures. If you say the scripture, they will quote the reference. All that is good. I wish I could be that smart, but I'm not. But when you talk to them, you can understand their mind, their talk, their life is totally disconnected with this book. Apprehension is the first step of meditation. Secondly, assimilation. Whatever God says, whenever God says, however God says, Make sure it is for me. Praise the name of the living God. See, we are all 20, 30 people sitting here. This point of time, God is not speaking to each and every one of us coming to their ears and humming his voice. One preaching for everyone. But when you receive it, in your heart, He speaks to you. He speaks to you according to the condition of your life. He speaks according to the need of your life. Because everyone's condition is not the same. 
எல்லாரோட நிலைமை ஒரே நிலைமை இல்லை एवरीवन नीड इज नॉट द सेम எல்லாரோட தேவையும் ஒரே தேவை இல்லை பட் when we hear this one message இதே ஒரே செய்தி நாம் எல்லாரும் கேட்கும்போது or we read this one same bible இதே ஒரே வேதாகமத்தை நாம் எல்லாரும் தனிப்பட வாசிக்கும்போது when god speaks to us through that இதன் மூலமா தேவன் நம்மோடு பேசும்போது he targets different areas of our life நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையில் காரியங்கள் எங்கெங்க இருக்கோ அதுக்கு ஏத்த மாதிரி he targets different aspects of our life நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையில் காரியங்கள் எந்த இடத்துல பேசப்பட வேண்டும் அவரால அது பேசப்படும் to let that grow அது வளரும்படிக்கா to let that grow strong அது பலமாய் வளர்வதற்கு to let that be built up அது கட்டப்படுவதற்காய் பேசப்படும் let that area of our lives be transformed அந்த காரியம் அந்த நிலைமை அது உயர்த்தப்படும் that's why whenever we come in contact with the word of god எப்பொழுதெல்லாம் தேவனுடைய வார்த்தையோடு வந்து நாம் தொடர்பு கொண்டு அதோடு நாம் இணையா no matter whatever he is saying whenever he is saying or however he is saying அவர் என்ன சொன்னாலும் சரி எப்படி சொன்னாலும் சரி எதை சொன்னாலும் சரி you make it your own நீங்க அது உங்களுக்கு சொந்தமாக்கி கொள்ள oh lord what you speak for me அண்டவரே நீங்க எனக்கு என்ன பேசுறீங்க for me adu enakkaga ninga enna pesu not for somebody else adu avangalukku illa ivangalukku illa so me enakka andavare a lot of people don't approach the word of god with that attitude they would they what they anugum bodu kekkum bodu anegar vidama adu eduthukolugiradilla a lot of people think oh this is for that brother ah indha sonar paari idu andha pamlukku this is for that sister idu andha sagudrikke this is for that church idu andha sabaikke oh he is talking about that denomination ah andha sthanathai patti avar solrar paar if god wants to speak to them he will go there apdiye <laughs> அவங்களுக்கு ஆண்டவர் பேசணும் தெரியப்படுத்தணும் அவர் அங்க போவார் இஃப் ஹி வான்ட்ஸ் டு டெல் தெம் समथिंग देयर इज नो नीड फॉर हिम टू टेल अस அவங்க கிட்ட பேசணும்னா அதை இங்க சொல்ல வேண்டிய அவசியம் அவருக்கு இல்ல தி வெரி ஃபேக்ட் தட் வி செட் அண்டர் தி சவுண்ட் ஆஃப் காட்ஸ் வாய்ஸ் இஸ் தட் ஹி வான்ட்ஸ் டு ஸ்பீக் டு அஸ் ஃபார் தேவனுடைய வார்த்தையின் சத்தத்துக்கு கீழாய் உட்கார்ந்து இருக்கிற நமக்கு அவர் நம்மோடு கூட பேச வேண்டாம் சம் பீப்பிள் சூஸ் only this god will speak brother சிலர் வந்து தெரிந்து கொள்வாங்க இதுதான் ஆண்டவர் பேசுறார் they order god lord speak to me regarding this andavare nee idan padiya nee yenitta pesanum looks like it looks like uh, holy spirit is the teacher they are the headmaster adena na parisutha avi vande teacher mariyo ivanga la headmaster mari they play dual role headmaster and student avanga adhe rendu vidamana veli ore alai they tell the teacher what to teach நீங்க வந்து டீச்சர் மாதிரி நீங்க பேங்கள் will there be any student that will tell the teacher what to teach ஒரு எந்த ஒரு மாணவனாவது ஆசையிட்ட போய் எனக்கு இத நீ சொல்லி கொடுக்க முடியுமா will any student decide the syllabus of what he should be taught எதை சொல்லி கொடுக்க வேண்டுமோ ஆசையே சொல்லி கொடுக்க வேண்டிய பாடத்திட்டங்களை ஒரு மாணவனால தீர்மானிக்க முடியாது not his job he has to sit in the class he has to learn whatever is being taught there அவனுடைய வேலை அது இல்ல அந்த ஆசையே என்ன சொல்லி கொடுக்கறங்களோ அது அவன் கவனிக்க whenever we come into contact with this word இந்த தேவனுடைய வார்த்தை ஓடு எப்பொழுதெல்லாம் நாம் இணைக்கப்பட God will speak from this written word whatever he wants to speak அவர் என்ன பேச விரும்புகிறாரோ எழுதப்பட்ட இந்த வார்த்தையில இருந்து அவர் நமக்கு நேராய் பேசுகிறார் as we take it in அதை நாம் நமக்கென்று எடுத்துக்கொள்ளும் போது as we receive it அதை நாம் நமக்கென்று பெற்றுக்கொள்ளும் போது say it's for me ஆண்டவரே இது எனக்கு தான் praise the name of the lord நாமத்து கேமங்க My dad used to quote the scripture in the book of Apostle James. Apostle Paul gave Jacob the scripture in the book of Apostle James. The scripture says, "The word of God is like a sword." Apostle Paul said, "The scripture says, 'The word of God is like a mirror.'" The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The scripture says, "The word of God is like a mirror." The that temple before we came here nama and kannadi ku munadi epo nipro inge varadhukku munadi 23 james 1 yakob eludhana nirma poduvana nirma vandada adhigaram 23 says if any man be a hearer of the word and not a doer he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass இனத்தினால நீ ஒருவன் திருவசனத்தை கேட்டும் அதன்படி செய்யாதவனானால் கண்ணாடியிலே தன் சுவாப முகத்தை பார்க்கிற மனுஷனுக்கு அப்பா இருப்பா we stand before the mirror we behold our natural face நம்மளுடைய அந்த கண்ணாடிக்கு முன்னாடி நிக்கும்போது நம்ம இயற்கையான முகத்தை நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் what do you do when you stand before the mirror கண்ணாடிக்கு முன்னாடி நின்ன என்ன செய்வீங்க the first thing we need to understand when we stand before the mirror we know something is wrong with us ஏதோ நமக்குள்ள குறை இருக்குது அது திருத்தம் பண்றதுக்காக போய் கண்ணாடிக்கு முன்னாடி நாம் I'm not looking imperfect that's why I'm going to the mirror so that I can look perfect நான் பார்க்கிறதுக்கு பூரணமா இல்ல ஏதோ ஒரு குறை இருக்கு அதை போய் சரி பண்றதுக்காக நான் கண்ணாடி Will you stand before the mirror to see other people? 
மா அந்த கண்ணாடிக்கு முன்னாடி நின்னுட்டு மத்தவங்களை பாப்பீங்களா how is that person looking அந்த நபர் எப்படி இருக்காரு இந்த கான திஸ் पर्सन இந்த மூலையில இருக்கற அந்த நபர் எப்படி இருக்கார் இந்த மூலையில go before the mirror for ourselves நமக்கு கண்ணாடிக்கு முன்னாடி நாம போய் நிக்கறேனா நமக்கு கண்ணாடி go before my mirror for me நான் என்னோட தேவிக்காக கண்ணாடிக்கு நான் எனக்கு முன்பாக போய் நான் நிக்கற millennials people who are born after 2000 remember oh. selfie camera if you want to take photo of others you use the back camera the 2000 varshathukku appuram vandha indha camera smartphone use pandravanga ellarum mathavangala phone edukkena back camera la vechi avangalukku theriyama le eduthirukku you want to take a picture of yourself na neenga ungaliye padam edukkona na you put yourself before the mirror ungalukku munbaga indha camera va indha kannadi neenga vekkano praise name madhil illa want to look at your imperfections ungaludeya koraigal enna vellam irukku that's what my father used to say adanaladha enga appa solla whenever you stand before the mirror of god eppodudalla andha vaatha engra kannadi ku munbaga neenga nilkirirukku don't look at other people's life mathamoda vaalkai neenga nokki paakadhi look at your life உன்னோட வாழ்க்கைய நோக்கி பார். பிரைஸ் தி நேம் ஆஃப் தி லிவிங். நான் உத்தி கேமே. ஃபார் மீ இஸ் ஃபார் மீ இஸ் ஃபார். இது எனக்கு தான் இது எனக்கு தான். டோன்ட் டிசைட் வாட் இஸ் ஃபார் யூ வாட் இஸ் நாட் ஃபார் யூ. உனக்கு எது உனக்கு எது இல்லேன்னு நீ தீர்மானம் செய்யாத. God has decided everything is for us. தேவன் எல்லாவற்றி நமக்கென்று எனக்கென்று அவர் தீர்மானம். That's why in Joshua 1 and 8 he said observe to do according to all that I have commanded you. அதனால தான் யா யோசுவா 1:8 ல எழுதி இருக்கிறவன்படி எல்லாம் செய்ய கவனமாய். David said meditate there in day and night. தேவன்ட் <laughs> to be his own shepherd nammude sonda soya meipanaga thaandavare thanakku munbaga vanni did not say my family shepherd nammude kudumbathin meipanan my king's shepherd nammude rajavudin meipanan my nation's shepherd nammude desathin meipanan endru solla abraham's shepherd abraham in meipanan endru solla my shepherd ennude meipan he made the lord to be his own அந்த ஆண்டவரை தனக்கென்று சொந்தமாக்கி கொண்டான் when we exercise our spirit man நம்முடைய ஆவி மனிதனை நாம் பயிற்றுவிக்கும் போது we not only know him we will understand what he says அவர் என்ன சொல்கிறார் என்பதை நாம் புரிந்து கொள்வோம் and we will make everything that he says to be our own அவர் சொல்கிற சகலமும் நமக்கென்று நாம் சொந்தமாக்கி கொள்வோம் finally இறுதியாக you apply the word அதே அதே நம்முடைய வார்த்தையை நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையிலே அனுபவப்பூர்வமாக நடைமுறை understand புரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் make it your own அதை உங்களுக்கு சொந்தமாக்கி கொள்ள வேண்டும் apply it in your life அதை வாழ்க்கையிலே நடைமுறைப்படுத்த வேண்டும் do what it says ஆண்டவர் சொல்லுகிறபடியாக that's what the lord told joshua அதை தான் யோசுவாவின் இடத்தில் ஆண்டவர் சொன்னார் let us read the scripture one more time இன்ன ஒரு முறை அந்த வேத வசனத்தை joshua chapter number 1 and verse number 8 யோசுவா வந்தால் அதிகாரம் 8 ஆம் வசனம் This is what he said. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. And the high pramana pustakam un vaai vittu piriyadirpadaga idil eludhirukkiravargal padi ella ni seiya kavanamaagi irukkum. So when you meditate on what God says day and night, iravum pagalum aandavar solugira kaariyathai nee dhyanam seivaaya. What's the next thing that will happen? Adutha kaariyam enna nadakkudhu? It will push us to the place where we observe to do according to all that is written there adile eludhi irukkiravan nammai ella seiya namai gavanamai irukkumadi seigirathu it's the application adhu da nammude vaalkaiye adu nadaimurai paduthukira kaariyam praise the name of the lord we just don't know it and say hallelujah praise the lord and go home ariyama andavar edathil hallelujah stotram solittu poradilla no once we understand we make it our own oru murai arindukondu purindukonda mana adu namakku sonnam after we make it our own we use it we apply it namakku sonnam aakina pinbu adai nam adu nadaimuraipadutha vendum see anything you buy you use it right edho oru kaariyatha porula vaangna endha oru porula vaangnaala adha use pandroma illaya go and buy a motorcycle oru bike vaangringa motor bike what do you do with it adoda enna seiringa park it inside your bedroom wipe it every day and enjoy it and take Adukai photos adha nerthi vechi adha thodachi adukku maala pottu no you buy it so that you can use it adha vaangnadhaala neenga enna seiringa upayogikkiringa why you use it because it is your vehicle adha edukkaga vaanpaduthringa adhu ungala my motorcycle ennoda motor bike my this my phone my that because it is mine i am using it adha enna kendra 
என்று நான் உபயோகப்படுத்துகிறதுனா If you say the same thing about what God speaks to you ஆண்டவர் உங்களிடத்தில் பேசும்போதும் இவ்விதமாய் நீங்கள் சொல்வீர்கள் Oh Lord what you say it's for me then you will use it நீங்கள் சொன்னீங்களே அது எனக்கு தான் அப்படி என்று சொல்லி நீங்கள் அதை உபயோகப்படுத்துங்கள் You will apply it அதை நீங்கள் அறிந்து கொண்டு The thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written there நடந்து என்ன <laughs> be a hearer of the word and not a doer the one who doesn't apply he is like a man who beholds his face in a natural glass and goeth his way enathana oru thiruvasarathai kettu madanbadi seiyadavanaal kannadile than swabamugathai paarkkira manushil koppai before that he says the one who hears the word and doesn't do it he deceiveth his own self paathai kettu madanbadi seiyadavan thanne thane vanjikiravana irukkiran endru solugira if we don't apply it the exercise doesn't become complete நாம் அதை நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையை நடைமுறைப்படுத்தா விட்டால் அந்த பயிற்சியானது முழுமை பெறாத பயிற்சி ஆகிடும் இஃப் யூ டோன்ட் யூஸ் யுவர் எனர்ஜி இட் மீன்ஸ் யூ ஹேவ் நாட் எக்ஸசைஸ் நீங்கள் பெற்றுக்கொண்ட அந்த ஆற்றலை பலத்தை நீங்கள் பயன்படுத்தா விட்டால் அந்த பயிற்சி வெற்றி அடைய இஃப் யூ டோன்ட் அப்ளை திஸ் வேர்ல்ட் வி கேனாட் எக்ஸசைஸ் ஆர் ஸ்பிரிட் மேன் அண்ட் வி கேனாட் க்ரோ ஸ்ட்ராங் இன் தி வேர்ல்ட் நாம் கேட்ட படித்த அந்த வேத வார்த்தைகளை நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையிலே நடைமுறையிலே அனுபவப்படுத்தா விட்டால் அந்த கற்றுக்கொண்ட எல்லாமே ஆண்டவர்களை நாம் வள பலமாய் வளரவும் முடியாது பயிற்சியும் தோல்வியாக ஸ்கிரிப்ட் சேஸ் வி டிசீவ் ஆர் ஓன் செல்ஃப் இஃப் வி டோன்ட் அப்ளை தி வேர்ட் இன் ஆர் லைஃப் நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையிலே கற்றுக்கொண்ட ஏற்றுக்கொண்ட அந்த வார்த்தைகளை நாம் நடைமுறைப்படுத்தா விட்டால் நம்மை நாமே நாம் ஏமாற்றி கொள்கிறவர்களாக இருக்கிறோம் நம்மை நாமே ஏமாத்துறது அது மோஸ்ட் self deception is the worst form of deception and the suya vanjagam enbadi irkadile mega mosamana the scripture says if you know and you don't do it nee arindum adanbadi seiyadama irpaya if you don't apply our life according to the scriptures veda vasanathinbadi avigalai namde vaalkile nam nadavara padutha according to what god says devan solugira padi seiyavutta we are cheating ourselves nammai naame nam yemaatchikolugiravallai see so. self deception is so pathetic that nobody can help us even god devan kuda odhi seiyamudiyadhu suya vanjagam suya yemaatram namme naame yemaatchikolumbodhu yaarume odhi seiyamudiyadhu you deceive me for example neenga god will help me na andavar enak odhi seiva if i deceive you god will help me odhi vanjagam panna andavar ungalku odhi seiva but even what god can do if i deceive my own self ana naane enniye yemaatti vanjithu that's what the scripture says if you don't apply the word ni vaathiye ni adanbadi seiyamal irpayanal how can we grow strong in the lord andavarkle eppadi balamai valarradu number 1 apprehension veda vasanathai arindu purindukolvathu by knowing the author of the scriptures and the veda vasanangalil eluthalar yaar endrai arindu kolvathu number 2 assimilation irandavathu adai namakku sondamaakki kolvathu thirdly application மூன்றாவது நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையிலே அதை நடைமுறைப்படுத்தி கொண்டு வருது தீஸ் த்ரீ திங்ஸ் ஆர் த ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப் மெடிடேஷன் இந்த மூன்று காரியங்கள் தியானத்துக்கு மிகவும் முக்கியமான ஒரு காரியங்களாகும் இட் ஹேஸ் டு டேக் பிளேஸ் டே அண்ட் நைட் அது இரவும் பகலும் அதை எடுத்துக்கொள்ளும் லைக் அ சைக்கிள் ஒரு சுழற்சியை போன்று 
apprehension assimilation application arindu koluvathu sondamaakki koluvathu adu nadaimarai paduthuvathu get back the next day do the same thing marubadiyum adutha naalum adhe kaaryam da day and night iravum pagalum day and night means it covers all 24 hours அந்த இரவும் பகலும் என்பது 24 மணி நேரத்தையும் அது குறிக்கிறது this spiritual exercise it no. runs like a cycle in our inner man நம்முடைய அந்த ஆவிக்குரிய பயிற்சியானது ஒரு சுழற்சியை போல நம்முடைய உள்ளான மனதிலே தொடர்ந்து நடைபெற்றுக் கொண்டே இருக்க வேண்டும் as we let this cycle run in us நமக்குள்ளே அந்த சுழற்சியை நாம் நடத்தி கொண்டிருக்கும் we will grow strong in the lord and the power பலமாய் வளர்கிறவளாய் இருப்போம் the lord told joshua be strong and of a good courage ஆண்டவர் யோசுவாவை பார்த்து சொன்னார் பலம் கொண்டு திடமனதாக அது வந்து ஒரு கமாண்ட்மென்ட் இட்ஸ் a command அது ஒரு கட்டளையாய் சொல்லுகிறது growing strong is not an option it is a command நமக்கு அது ஒரு தெரிந்து கொள்ளுதல் இல்ல அது கட்டளையாய் நீ செய்ய வேண்டும் be strong நீ பலம் கொண்டு திடமனதாக before he said that அது சொல்வதற்கு முன்பாக meditate there in day and night இரவும் பகலும் அது தியானமாய் observe to do according to all that i command நான் உனக்கு கட்டளையிட்ட பிரமாணத்தின்படி எல்லாம் செய்ய கவனமாய் இருக்கு may god help us all to heed to this words of life தேவன் தாமே நாம் எல்லாருக்கும் இந்த ஜீவ வார்த்தை கை கொள்ளும்படியான பலத்தை தருவார் let this word fulfill the purpose for which god இந்த வார்த்தை அனுப்பப்பட்டதான தெய்வீக நோக்கம் நம்முடைய ஒவ்வொருவருடைய வாழ்க்கையிலும் நிறைவேற்றப்படட்டும் let us all stand நாம் யாவரும் எழுந்து நிற்போம் let us lift up our hands and lift up our hearts நம்முடைய கருத்தை நம்முடைய இருதயத்தை ஆண்டவருக்கு நேராய் நாம் ஏறெடுப்போம்